Hey guys, what's going on? James here and welcome back to day number six of the 25 days of Bucksmiths. 25 days talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Guys, we've already had some really big names throughout the first five days alone of this series. So I'm going to be actually very interested to see who we get in day number six. I've got the drawer right here. Let me go ahead and get this out and uh, get the slip of paper as well. So guys, for day number six of the 25 days of Bucksmiths, we are going to be talking about Tampa Bay Buccaneers middle linebacker, Devin White. So guys, without further ado, let's talk about this. Do you guys remember when Devin White was drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with the fifth overall pick back in the 2019 NFL Draft? I really do feel like that was one of the, you know, rare times where most, I'm going to say most, Tampa Bay Buccaneers fans were happy with the selection that the team made. And, you know, this is the case for almost any team right, where not everybody is going to agree with a draft pick that was made. But I definitely feel like a lot of people at the end of the day were happy with the pick of Devin White coming out of that 2019 NFL draft. And it's totally understandable, right? Devin White was a freak, freak athlete who could do so many things with his versatility for a Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense led by Todd Bowles, you know, a very creative defensive coordinator in his own right. Um, and the, you know, prospects, the the ideas that Todd Bowles could come up with uh, involving a piece like Devin White on the Buccaneers defense, it, it really did feel like there were so many things at the Buccaneers disposal in terms of the versatility and flexibility um, with their defense. And you know, hey, since Devin White came in, all of those, you know, positive things, for the most part, have come to light. Devin White has been phenomenal since he joined the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, are there definitely still improvements that could be made? Of course. You know, there are definitely things that Devin White could improve on, but the things that a lot of people thought he was going to be good at, he has been great at. He's one of the best run-stopping middle linebackers in the league today you know and even while his tackling isn't always there he is always time and time and time again one of the first guys to the football carrier um, on opposing offenses just because of the guy's freak athleticism sideline to sideline type speed is what this guy has and he's a 4-3 linebacker how rare is something like that and he's been able to showcase that ability not just in his run stopping but especially in his pass rushing ability i don't remember the last time we've seen a middle linebacker with the pass rushing type abilities of devin white maybe like a ray lewis you know maybe one of the other great linebackers of the past um it, you know comes to mind but devin white is certainly a rare breed of middle linebacker you do not get a guy of this caliber every you know draft you know you rarely get him in every five to ten drafts you know and the Buccaneers thankfully were able to to get Devin White in that 2019 NFL draft and have benefited greatly you know and as I said you know the run stopping has been fantastic the pass rushing has been fantastic and the, the best part about it is there's room to grow right there is room to grow for Devin White as a player he's still learning from a guy like Levante David who quite frankly is one of the best linebackers um you know in the modern era today Devin White gets to learn from a guy like that every single day so things will improve his tackling ability will continue to improve his pass coverage ability will continue to improve and I think slowly over time Devin White will continue to grow and morph into an all-around great balanced linebacker because guys at the end of the day he's only 23 years old as of the recording of this video in uh, 2021 but you wouldn't be able to tell you know based on how Devin White's played since day number one he has entered the league he's looked like a veteran out there he's looked great um all things considered looking at the big scope of things he's been one of the most impressive players on the Buccaneers defense again 
from the moment he was drafted. And he's only got more room to grow, guys. Um, his potential still has um, heights to reach. And that's definitely one of the greatest, one of the most exciting things about Devin White is he still has so much time to grow and learn from some of you know the the greatest players in the game around him and that's a phenomenal phenomenal thing to have another thing that needs to be mentioned whenever you talk about Devin White is just his you know already a great leadership qualities right even all the way going back to 2019 Devin White said yeah I'm basically the leader um, you know, of this rookie group. This is my unit, this this draft class from 2019. I'm going to be the leader of these guys, and, and we're going to work um, to make this team as good as possible. And that's where it starts. You know, it is taking guys that you know you can lead and growing and expanding from that. And the longer that Devin White is in this league, the more guys he can reach with his leadership skills. Of course, in his rookie season, it's going to be the, you know, draft class he was brought in with right? Because, you know, there are probably some veterans and some other guys that he might not be able to reach in his first year in the league. But as he continues to prove himself, as he continues to grow as a player and as a leader as well, um, he's able to reach more guys like veterans, like long tenured players, things along those lines, other rookie classes as well. And we're seeing that more and more every single week, every single year, you know, you see the videos, right, of Devin White giving locker room speeches, of being an encouraging guy on the sidelines. He's showcasing these great, great leadership qualities that you want to see in a top guy on your defense or just on your team in general. So all around, Devin White, I think, has been exactly the player that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers um, hoped they were going to get. Right, he is a middle linebacker who has got, fun, you know, I feel phenomenal leadership qualities, um, and so much room to grow as a player. His ceiling is absolutely insane. His ceiling is basically the best linebacker in the league. I don't think that that is a stretch to say that, and he's got time to reach those heights. There's a lot of competition out there. Of course there is, you know, on a lot of different types of teams. But Devin White, with his age, with the group surrounding him, with the guys coaching him, with his qualities, you know, it is definitely possible for him to reach those heights as one of the best, if not the best linebacker in the league in due time, if things go well for him in the future. And I feel that's going to be so important for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, and where they go as a team. Because Devin White, you know, duh, he's going to be one of the building, you know, the building blocks of where their team goes in the future. Of course he is. Post Levante David, you know, and that time will come someday. It's going to be the Devin White show, man. It's going to be. And I feel that when that time comes, the Bucks will be in good hands. I feel like they will be a team that will still have a solid defense because Devin White will be there leading the way. Um, at that middle linebacker position. So I definitely think the Buccaneers have a guy who can not just be good for them now, but can continue to be good for them for many, many years. Remember when I talked about guys like Joe Tryon and Vita Vea? Put Devin White right in there into that mix. You know, the Buccaneers are going to have guys at every level of the defense, I feel, for a very good healthy future of this team, at least in terms of having playmakers and leaders and I think Devin White's going to be in the middle of all of that. I think Devin White's going to be the guy leading the ship on the Buccaneers defense and, and continuing to grow and cultivate this team, um, both as a player and as a leader. And I I'll tell you what, man, that's some pretty exciting stuff there. And uh, I know a lot of people were extremely happy with this Devin White pick. I myself was very happy with the Devin White pick as well. Regardless of what you feel about certain aspects of his game uh, versus others, I, I feel when you look at the overall picture um, of Devin White and the draft selection in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Buccaneers definitely came away with one of the better players of that draft and definitely got a win in regards to getting Devin White on their roster. 
But guys, that's it. That's kind of my thoughts on Devin White, where I feel his future lies with the Buccaneers and just the NFL in general, and what I feel he brings to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers today. I think the Bucs have a bright future with Devin White. I think Devin White himself has a bright future as a player that could reach the heights of you know, hey, maybe the best linebacker in the league in a couple of years. We'll have to wait and see on that, obviously, but I think Devin White has that type of potential, and the Buccaneers really did get themselves a good player in Devin White. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts about Devin White down in the comments section below. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And uh, I will see you in the next video. I believe it's day number seven of the 25 days of Bucksmith. We are cruising right along, getting through our first week, um, our first seven days rather. And it's a, a great thing. I had a lot of fun with this series. I hope you guys are having fun with this series as well. But um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.